no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions, no change to the GST. I can inform you that the Government of Australia has changed. My friends, it is my honour to welcome you back to Canberra as the Prime Minister-elect of Australia. At almost $4,000 a week, this five-bedroom mansion wouldn't do either. So, Tony Abbott settling for the block. I, Anthony John Abbott, do swear that I will well and truly serve the people of Australia. Now, I am disappointed that there are not at least two women in the Cabinet. The Abbott ascent to the summit is complete. Australia's Prime Minister is the newest of new faces in the Asia-Pacific leaders' circle. We think it's important that there be uh, a uniform approach to marriage throughout the Commonwealth and uh, that's what we're going to do our best to ensure. After 12 years, Australia's longest ever war came to a symbolic end with a surprise flying visit by the Prime Minister Tony Abbott. Australia's longest war is ending. Australia shouldn't be expected to detail what we do to protect our country any more than other governments should be expected to detail what they do to protect theirs. Australia will never do anything in the future that will bring disadvantage and disturb Indonesia. They owe it to the people of Australia uh, to say uh, what they're doing. Are they staying or are they going? A hundred days have passed since a successful people smuggling venture to Australia. Anyone who seeks to come here or run a venture in the next hundred days will find the same set of policies that stopped all those coming over the last hundred days. The budget shouldn't be about how much will be in our pockets today or tomorrow. It should be about our country and its future. I move that the bill for the budget be now read a second time. Uh, yes, uh, there is a temporary increase in tax. Yes, uh, there is fuel excise indexation. What we want to do is to maintain the red light for bigotry. We want to remove the, the amber the light for, Isaac uh, for will free desist. speech. Awarding knighthoods but cutting the wages of cleaners? To the Honourable the Leader of Her Majesty's Opposition, start telling the truth. Start telling the truth for a change. The Minister will resume his seat. There'll be silence. You do need to listen. It's your job. The member for Isaacs will leave under 94A. Everyone in Australia knows bias when they see it. Bizarre. It is ludicrous. It is over the top. The budget reply at Sydney University came with sound and fury. $80 billion? Are you kidding me? And I work on an adult sex line to make ends meet. Those uh, that appear to say aye, those again say no. I think the eyes have it. We're never going to vote for that. A crocodile wouldn't swallow his nonsense. What Welcome to the House of Fun. Palmer United Senators will stand as the last sentry at the gate, protecting the rights of all Australians. The clean energy legislation, carbon tax repeal bill and seven related bills have passed. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. The web address um, is, is part of the metadata. The results are that the boats are stopping. It's not a state, it's a death cult. The Senate has just repealed the mining tax. The mining tax is now gone. It's a political hot potato for the government. Your name is Julia Eileen Gillard. Yes, it is. A boyfriend, a self-confessed bag man, and their union. The government is raising the public alert level to high. Keeping our people safe is above politics. The bill restores temporary protection visas. I think it's a a game changer for our country. It's now time to ban the burqa. Australian fighter jets loaded up for their first combat mission took to the skies above Iraq. Look, I'm going to uh, shirt front, Mr Putin. Maybe this is Prime Minister Abbott's way of shirt fronting you. 
They now want to cut our ABC. What we're doing with the ABC is at odds with what I said. You wonder why I wouldn't trust them to build a canoe? I'd be the first to admit that last week was a bit of a ragged week uh, for the government. I'd be the first to admit that. I call on the crossbench to pass our reforms. The matter is resolved in the negative. Goodbye. Goodbye the high education. What I announced today uh, is a new package uh, of measures. There's no massaging of numbers here. None at all. We do need to know why the perpetrator of this horrible outrage uh, got permanent residency. It is necessary that this is brought to a head and last. I'm a loyal member of the Cabinet. The Cabinet is unanimously behind Tony Abbott. I don't have that unequivocal support, or well, he does not have that unequivocal support. I don't know what to put it down to, but I'm going to put it down to a full moon. Accordingly, I've asked the whip, Mr Philip Ruddock, to convene a party room meeting at 9 o'clock on Monday morning to deal with this matter. The only question, the only question for our party is do we want to reduce ourselves to the level of the Labor Party in dragging down a first-term Prime Minister? Noes 61, uh, yes 39, that seems to me to resolve the matter. In the leadership, it was contested by Malcolm Turnbull and Tony Abbott. Malcolm Turnbull was successful on 54, Tony Abbott 44.